Right, we're doing question number four now from 2019 paper. So question two is transition metals paper. So you got some reactions here. So give your form precipitate J and state the color. So J is this one here. So when you react iron two three plus with sodium carbonate, it'll give you Fe H2O, three of them, and three OHs, and there is no charge because it's a precipitate. And the color is brown, and this equation you got six plus three CO3 two minus, which is a carbonate, goes to this is your J plus CO2 gas coming out in plus water. Right, give a form of L and an equation of reaction two. So L is going to be FeCl4 minus because this is Fe. Fe3 3 plus, that one there. So if you add 4 Cl minus, it becomes minus plus 6 water comes out, replace that to that. So just the reagent reaction 3. So reagent reaction 3 equals from 3 plus to 2 plus. So is reduced because this oxidation number decreases. Therefore, we just use a reducing agent. So the last one is, is a reducing agent. So zinc in HCl is an option that you can have. Because you're reducing, so you got uh, goes from three plus to two plus. Just to finalize that bit there. Okay. Question four point four. Give a formula of precipitate M and state its color. M is here. So what you look at, you got your Fe two plus here with six waters. Add concentrated ammonia. Okay. You end precipitate M. So basically, what happens here, you end up with Fe also two lots of water is replaced. And you got four waters left over. So, uh, because there's two minus there and there's two plus there, there's no charges in there. So, therefore, that's a precipitate, it's a solid. And that's a green. Okay? So, you have to learn those equations. There's no other way. There's no way to work it out. You just have to. Sorry about all the barking, those two dogs fighting. So, but they're all okay, all good. So, don't worry. So, you got FeO2 uh, with two ox hydroxide ions there. So two water molecules comes out. Um, no, actually two hydrogens leaves the water molecules in here and forms NH4 plus. And then it becomes, this becomes a green precipitate. Okay, let's move on to the next question right. now. Transitional metal complexes have different shapes and many show isomerism. Describe the different shapes of complex ions, the complexes and show how they lead to different types of isomerism. Use examples of complex cobalt 2 and platinum 2. So if you use complex of cobalt 2, um, I use this one here, okay? And then if I want to show how this shows is that isomerism or cis and trans, sorry, I'm going to do this now here for you to see. So you got NH3 and H3 here. So that would work, isn't it? And then, um, so that will be the cis isomerism, isomer. And then the trans, you can do like that. So you can do CO, NH3, one side, NH3, the other side. And then you go away and towards you with waters. Like that. Like that. So you can use that, which it shows is that as on a season trans. Since trans isomers or is that isomers? Okay, so you've got same side is cis, opposite side um, is trans, and this is octahedral shape, both of them. So you can use that example there. So the example I used for uh, from platinum 2, I used uh, platinum with two ammonias and two chloride ions. So you can write PT, then you've got NH3. 2 and then you go Cl2 and then you close that because it's platinum 2 plus and Cl2 minus becomes no charge there. Um, so that would be uh, the cis isomer or the trans isomer. So this shape is square planar, square planar shape. Okay, so now all I need to do is an example for optical isomerism for these two. Now, to show the uh, optical isomers, I'm going to use this one here, which is C2O4 um, 2 minus as the bidentate oxalate. Um, so, how I do that, I'm going to put cobalt 
up, down, away, towards you, towards you, away. Yeah. So if I put, um, let's say here, O, because those two looks like that, like that. They look like that. Negative charge, long pair. Negative charge, long pair. Okay. So then you have the oxygens attached to here. Then you go C double bond O, C double bond O, and then you got O there. Yeah. So here you have O O. Then you got C double bond O, C double bond O, and then attached to all there. And then this one you got O O, C double bond O. C double bond O attached to that. So if you want to do the optical isomer of that, so you do a mirror image. So you gotta do C O. I need to get rid of this. Mm, like that. C O cobalt. Oh, I have to close this and do the charges. So cobalt's two plus. This is two minus, two minus, two minus, makes six minus. So six minus plus two plus, it becomes four minus. Here, up, down, away, towards you. Same one. So then you do, this is in this side, you go O, O. And then you have C double bond O, C double bond O, attached to O there. Then here you have oxygen, oxygen. And then you got C, C, double bond O, double O, and then here you have the same oxygen, oxygen, and you got C, double bond O, C, double bond O. So that closes, so it's a bit messy, and that's going to be 2 plus minus 4 becomes 4 minus. So they are optical isomers because they're mirror images, they're looking at each other. Can you see that? They're mirror images of each other. So that's an example can use uh, in a smaller version because I did a big drawing of that.